Get Ready to Fall in Love. Baby Tamandua's Daily Adventures Await. Get ready to meet the most unique housemate ever. In this video, I'm thrilled to introduce you to the adorable pet Tamandua, a little anteater with a big personality. We'll peek into our daily lives together, from their playful antics that will melt your heart to their curious nose that's always on the hunt for adventure. Tamanduas are fascinating creatures, and throughout this journey, we'll uncover their special quirks and discover the joy they bring. Now, Tamanduas might not be your typical furry friend, but that's what makes them so amazing. They're exotic pets, for sure, but that doesn't mean they can't be wonderful companions. If you're looking for a pet that's anything but ordinary, and you have the resources and dedication to care for their specific needs, then maybe a Tamandua could be your perfect match. So, buckle up, or should we say, unfurl your claws, and get ready to be charmed by the fascinating world of pet Tamanduas. Now, before we go on with the video, make sure to support the channel by giving us a thumbs up, subscribe to the Legalized Exotic Pets, and smash the bell icon to get notified when we post more exciting and awesome content like this one. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, all about the Tamanduas. Antiators as pets. You might be surprised, but these unusual creatures can be fascinating companions for the dedicated owner. There are four wild anteater species but the southern Tamandua, Tamandua tetradactyla, also known as the lesser anteater, is the one that can adapt best to life with humans. Imagine a furry friend that's 13 to 35 inches long with a tail that adds another 15 to 26 inches. These little guys or gals can weigh between three and 18 pounds making them about the size of a medium-sized dog. While their lifespan is typically around seven years, some lucky anteaters can live well into their teens. Here's the coolest part. Anteaters are related to sloths and armadillos. Who knew? And get this, if raised from a young age, they can actually be trained to be tame. That means quality cuddle time with your very own anteater might be a possibility. But hold on to your hats. Owning an anteater is a big commitment. These are solitary creatures by nature, so they're not the kind of pet you can bring to the park for a play date. They also have specific dietary needs. They're insectivores which means their meals consist mainly of ants and termites. So, is an anteater the right pet for you? If you're an adventurous soul who can provide a specialized loving home, then this unique critter could be your perfect match. So, you're thinking about an anteater as a pet? Hold on a second, because legal hurdles might be the first termite mound you encounter. While owning an anteater isn't illegal on a federal level in the U.S., different states have their own rules. Before you start shopping for ant castles, because, let's face it, a regular pet store won't have those. Check with your state and local laws. See if anteaters are allowed as pets in your area, and if so, do you need a special permit? The last thing you want is to fall in love with an adorable anteater, only to find out it's not welcome in your state. So do your legal research first. It's the responsible way to start your incredible and totally unique pet adventure. Lesser anteaters. They're chill tree dwellers with amazing sniffers, perfect for finding their ant and termite feasts. Don't let the cute factor fool you though. Their eyesight is weak, but their hearing is top notch. While they can defend themselves with claws and a super spray, way worse than a skunk, 
These loners aren't cuddly. They prefer solo life. So most pet anteaters are young and hand raised. But even then, watch out for furniture shredding claws and, well, accidents. Anteaters are fascinating, but their needs are specific. Consider if your lifestyle can match their solitary nature before welcoming one of these unique creatures home. So, let's say you've decided to welcome a lesser anteater into your life. Awesome, but remember, these fascinating creatures are treetop adventurers at heart. Here's the scoop on creating the perfect anteater habitat. Branching out. In the wild, anteaters spend half their time scaling branches. Mimic that in their home with sturdy branches and poles, both indoors and outdoors. Make sure they're strong enough to hold your anteaters weight and use different thicknesses to keep their foot muscles healthy. Think bird perches. Temperature control. Anteaters run a bit cooler than your average mammal. Their enclosure needs to stay room temperature, ideally between 65 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature swings are okay, but avoid anything too hot, over 90 degrees, or cold, below 65 degrees. Your anteater could get sick or even overheat. Outdoor oasis. Think climbing structures, exploring nooks, and a cozy hideaway. A hollowed out tree stump or a little house with a heater for chilly nights is perfect. Or should we say anteater fat for snoozing. Indoor adventures. If your anteater gets to explore inside, Make sure your belongings are safe from curious claws. And remember, supervision is key. After all, an anteater on the loose might get into mischief. Now, before we go on with the video, make sure to support the channel by giving us a thumbs up, subscribe to the Legalized Exotic Pets, and smash the bell icon to get notified when we post more exciting content like this one. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the anteater. Diet. Anteaters are insectivores with unique needs. No teeth, no problem. They slurp up thousands of insects daily. But how do you replicate that at home? Zookeeper's secret. High protein powder mixed with water, insects, and a touch of sweetness is a zoo favorite. The captive compromise, commercially prepared food, leaf eater mix or cat food forms the base of a pet anteater's diet. Add kibble, powder, or even raw meat for extra protein, but remember, it all needs to be mushy. Buggy fun, let your anteater forage for real ants outdoors. It's enrichment and a tasty treat. Scatter them on branches or hide them in containers to encourage natural hunting instincts. Free food alert. Rotten logs and stumps are treasure troves for anteaters, offering delicious termites and entertainment. Providing the perfect anteater diet takes creativity, but with a little planning, your insectivore friend can thrive. Now, anteaters are amazing, but litter box training, not a thing. Their super stinky urine and territory marking make pee pads a gamble. Plus, they do their business while climbing. Not ideal for prized possessions below. Scattered pee pads might help a little, but accidents are inevitable. And cleaning, Regular products might not be strong enough. If mess isn't your thing, an anteater might not be your perfect pet. But for those who can handle the aroma, their unique charm might just win you over. As we mentioned, anteaters are amazing pets, but finding a vet who treats them can be tricky. Regular checkups are crucial. 
These exotic creatures are prone to respiratory problems in cold or drafty spaces, and low humidity can cause uncomfortable paw issues. Improper diet can even lead to organ failure. Annual blood tests at an exotics vet can catch problems early. With some effort, you can find a vet who will keep your one-of-a-kind friend healthy and happy. Before you picture yourself as the proud owner of this long-snouted wonder, there's a reality check in store. Owning an anteater is a serious financial commitment. The initial cost of buying one can range from $3,500 to a whopping $8,000. But that's just the tip of the termite mound. You'll also need to build a specialized enclosure that caters to their climbing needs and temperature preferences. On top of that, factor in the ongoing costs of food, vet care, and potential cleaning supplies. Because, let's face it, housebreaking isn't their forte. By the time you add it all up, the price tag can easily double or even triple the initial purchase price. Even if money isn't a concern, there's availability to consider. Antiators aren't exactly sold at your corner pet store. Finding a reputable breeder can be a challenge, and depending on your location, you might need to look online or attend specialized shows. The truth is, anteaters have very specific needs that require a lot of time and resources. Working long hours or having small children at home might not mesh well with an anteater's solitary lifestyle. While anteaters might be undeniably cool, carefully consider your lifestyle and budget before taking the plunge. And that wraps up today's adventure in the amazing baby Tamandua. We hope our insights have shed some light on whether this insectivore is right for you or your household. Do you have any more exotic pets you'd like us to cover? Sound off below and let us know in the comment section. We'd love to hear about it. Join us again for more exciting discoveries right here at Legalized Exotic Pets. Until next time.